Hi, Stacy. Hi. What are you doing? I'm making my um my aunt Helen's famous. As far as me being famous, uh, I mean me liking it, making it famous. Um, salsa recipe, and um, you wouldn't think that Canadians actually make salsa, but the fact of the matter is that they make everything because they'd rather make it than buy it, and salsa really isn't readily available, and they have lots of fresh produce, so her recipe is actually very good. So, um, where exactly did your aunt get this secret recipe from? Like, was it passed down from generations of practice, or like, did she watch it on the Food Network and call it her own? No. Um, it was probably passed down from someone to someone. I'm not going to say my own family, but someone definitely gave it to her because they don't just make up recipes. They have them for, like, ever. Wow. So tell us, what um, what goes into this world-famous salsa? Well, it's more about the preparation than the actual ingredients. Because as you can see, sugar, it's a sweet salsa. But we're going to add a little, maybe a little cayenne pepper to make it a little bit spicy. Um, and I also like to add corn. Um, onion, lemon, pepper, tomatoes. And we have the, the paste and the sauce. And tomatoes, vinegar. And that's really it, but it's about how you cook it. You have to cook two parts separately in order to melt the sugar with the vinegar and the corn, to season the corn. And then the other parts you boil in the frying pan, which is the vegetables, and like with some salt. Okay, and we're back. Um, Stacy, you have something particular that you like doing. Um, why don't you explain to the audience what's going on here? Um, I don't really have a cutting board because I've long since gotten rid of all of mine um, due to a process that I call dishoarding. And in fact, they carry a lot of bacteria and are hard to clean. So, what I just do is I use my countertop, especially since I rent, I don't really mind cutting it. And if you have like a marble cutting um, top, it actually works really well, because you can't cut marble. And I only have this one knife, because like, it's only like a kitchen knife I own. So it's a good thing these are small tomatoes, because otherwise it would be a little hard to repair this. And I don't like the tops. So we're going to cut all of those off. I don't really like the skin either, but we're going to leave that on. Because that would just be ridiculous to cut the skin off of all the tomatoes. Okay, well now a word from our sponsor. <laughs> I know, it was so gross. Uh, we're back. Um, hi, welcome back to... Um, Stacy's salsa making class. As you can see, we're chopping up the tomatoes and actually I forgot to take the top off the last one, but um, you know, this is the most time consuming process besides the cooking, which takes an hour and a half. And you wouldn't think that you would even cook salsa, salsa, but um, you really need to get all the juices out and now my hands are wet, so I'm going to have to get cat fur on my hands by doing this. And we're going to give him a stem to play with, because that's he'll just keep jumping up unless you do that. So we have a question from an audience member. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned earlier that you don't use cutting boards because they're unsanitary, yet you let your cat climb up and put his face in the food. Well, I don't really let him do that. You see, um, living in a one-bedroom apartment, it's either he's in here or he's in my bedroom, which would um, create more chaos. So, you know what? I just have to deal with it and really try to keep my countertops very clean.
Library Sanitary, which is uh, something new that I'm learning. Okay, and we'll be back in just Okay, and we're back. Stacy's Kitchen. What's going on with the gloves? Well, you see, the tomatoes can get a little slippery, especially when you have the round piece on top and you're trying to cut through two layers, which maybe I just do because I'm lazy. And um, I cut my thumb. So now we're going to do things the right, smart way, especially when handling onions and peppers. You really want to be wearing gloves anyway. So, yeah. Why does all the exciting stuff happen during commercial breaks? <laughs> I think because I get so excited about the commercials and, you know, I really want that new phone that they're advertising, um, the, the crazy chocolate cherry bomb, and, you know, that's why I'm working so hard, so I can afford it. Gotta get my shit. And uh, you have a pretty interesting technique for uh, transporting those tomatoes. Let's uh, see. Yes, so what we do is we scoop and, and then we, we just put it in the pot for now. We're not going to cook it in the pot. Just to keep all the juices contained. Um, and we're going to be using the spatula later anyway. So it's well, okay to get it dirty. Uh, Rachel Ray has got nothing on you. <laughs> She's a dumb bitch. <laughs> And uh, what about Paula Deen? I don't know who that is. I don't watch cooking shows. I just saw Rachel Ray's um, True Hollywood Story, and it was so boring and annoying. Um, I changed to Kelly Ripa's Hollywood Story, which is almost as bad, but better. Way yeah. better, in comparison. So I was saying, when I was younger, I hated, hated the smell of cooking peppers, onions, anything like that. And my uncle was like, when you get older, you're going to appreciate it and you're going to love it. And, well, this is a big white onion, so it's not the same as those nasty onions. But I have to say, it's not as revolting as it was when I was younger. So what we're going to do is really try and dice this up really small. Oh, and we've already added our pepper. And then for the lemon, we're actually just going to squeeze all the juice into it. But that's going to go with the corn and the spices and the sugar in a separate pot. And we're back. So what we're doing now, and I'm crying because of the onion, um, we're combining the tomatoes, onions, and peppers in, in a large saucepan. And we're going to just cover this and cook it on like medium-low for an hour and a half while we prepare the other ingredients. Well, about an hour, because an hour, then you combine them all together. You want to leave a little space on the sides. You don't want to cover it completely. And reuse your tin foil. In that pot. Uh, right now we have vinegar, sugar, and lemon juice, which we're going to have to fish all the seeds out. Um, so what we're doing now is just preparing some containers that can hold this stuff. We have the liquid mixture trying to boil and mix all together and then eventually we'll put it and mix it with the vegetables. So now we're going to combine, since the sugar has melted and it's a nice mixture, we're going to just add this to our vegetables and hope it all fits. And it does. 
And we're actually going to leave this uncovered because it's so liquidy. We're going to try to get rid of some of that liquid from the, the corn can, can, can corn. Maybe we'll just like, we'll just loosely, you know, cover it like that. And maybe turn the heat up a little bit. More juice is going to come out of the vegetables, so. If it gets too much, we can separate half and half. 